Hey guys, welcome back to my video. My name is Zelda. I am a mom of three. Um, I'm currently cooking still the third one, um, aka Bunny. Um, I'm not due for another three weeks, um, but ideally my midwife wants me to push this baby out before 40 weeks because um, my babies come out big. So yeah, today's video is um, showing you guys what's in my hospital bag. Um, this is my third time um, packing a hospital bag. The first time I way overpacked. The second time I, um, uh, I, I feel like I underpacked because I was like rushed. And then um, this third time I finally have like my staples of what I know I'm gonna use and what the hospital provides. So again, if you're a new mom, this is your first pregnancy, you're getting um, everything ready, packing your hospital bag, you might need more things than I do. That's personally like up to you, what makes you comfortable and always follow what makes you comfortable and you're okay with. Um, like I said, this is my third baby, so I'm just going to go in and out of the hospital um, if everything's okay and everything. But yeah, this is what's in my hospital bag video, and I hope you like and subscribe this video. And if, you, if you're if you new, again, welcome. Um, I'm glad to see that you're here, and as you can tell, my videos are pretty raw. Um, I suck at editing one day I'll get good at it. Um, but this is reality. This is motherhood. This is my life. And I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. All right. So, as you know, what's in my hospital bag videos. Um, usually a lot of people use, like, duffels, diaper bags, and such. Now, um, this time around, I am using a jujube bag. Um, it's like a huge tote. And I got it on their warehouse sale. And it's called the Super B. Now, you don't have to get anything fancy like this. This is not really fancy. I just really like that it's washable. It's huge. And honestly, it's just like I'm going to be using it for like trips and stuff like that. So, it for me, again, this was the best option for me. Now, you could take whatever you want. You could pack whatever you want. You could use a backpack. You could use a diaper bag. You could use a suitcase. Um, for all I care, that's definitely up to you. But yeah, this is by Jujubee. I freaking um, saved a lot of money by getting it through the warehouse sale. So I think I paid like $30 or $40 for this. Um, but yeah, um, it's super washable. Um, it has tons of pockets. So as you can see here, there's a few pockets. And then inside, there's more pockets. And then there's a back pocket. And again, like I said... It's freaking washable. So that's my go-to because after the hospital, I'll probably chuck this in the washer with all of the nasty stuff that ends up getting nasty because of germs and everything. And yeah, that's what we'll do. But anyways, yes, this is by Jujubee. If you um, have any more questions on um, Jujubee, I don't know just because like this is my first time um, using their product. So everybody raves about it. So I thought I'd try it and I thought I'd treat myself since I... I'm super pregnant and it's washable. <laughs> but anyways, moving on. Um, I am including baby stuff, my stuff, husband stuff in this bag. So this is like all that I'm taking with me to the hospital. I am not taking the boppy. And the reason why is because I'm just going to use a pillow. And honestly, I don't want to carry that many stuff. So... Whenever I go to the hospital, I want to go in and out. But yeah, going first with baby stuff, because um, ultimately this is for baby. Um, I am going to bring along a little announcement little set. So it's a swaddle, bow, and then a little disc that shows like the name and stuff like that. And then um, I got this off of Amazon. Super cheap. Super, super cheap. But yeah, um, it's this print here. Let me show you. It came with a bow and a little hat. So as you see, super cute. You do a little knot and then a little bow. And I don't know if you guys know, I am having a girl. So this will be my second girl. And um, it comes with a swaddle blanket of the same print. And then, of course, 
it comes with a little announcement disc that says hello world super cute um and then what i'm gonna do is have my mother-in-law um engrave it because she has like a little like engraver kit thing and she'll put like the baby's announcement stuff but um uh, moving on for baby i have obviously a diaper um little tote now you're probably thinking like oh well you could just put that in your diaper bag but this is not my diaper bag this is just going to be my hospital bag and honestly to day to day i just carry a backpack and this i highly recommend you don't have to get the skip hop one there's like a knockoff one um i paid less than 20 dollars for it this i highly recommend to carry with you even in the car just for emergencies what I have here is little trash bags because um, you never know um, with the diapers that you have to change in the car and I honestly don't want my car smelling like poop all the time because I already deal with it at my house and then it unclips here so super easy and it opens and as you see here I have wipes and then I have a diaper. I have a change of clothes in here too. And then um, I have a changing pad. So again, it like opens, it's Velcro, it opens. And if you need to wash the changing pad, look how cool this is. You could like literally unzip it and wash it. But like I said, um, for me, less is more. Um, Again, this isn't my first child, so you guys could do whatever you guys feel comfortable with. Um, let me move everything out. And then, um, again, for baby, a little blanket, just because, like, in case um, when we leave the hospital it's a little bit chilly. We have a blanket to put on the car seat. Now, like, over the car seat to get to the car. Um, and then, for baby, I also got a little pod, a swaddle pod. And this is by Aiden and Anais. Um, it's a transitional pod. So you could wear it as a regular pod. And then you could also um, have the arms out. Now, this is my go-to. I always start with pods. This is what worked for my kids. Um, also, the Halo uh, Swaddle. I love and everything. But this is what I'm also taking too. Now, the hospital will get you... Um, like the newborn swaddles like the blankets like the receiving blankets so don't worry um there's ideally more for like the last day um but like i said this is my go-to you could choose whatever swaddle you'd like and then of course as far as for dad um i got him a pair of boxers and then um obviously i have a charger and a wall plug, a really long charger. And I got it off of Amazon, like a 10 foot charger. Because you always end up <laughs> needing a charger at the hospital. And honestly, I'd rather be with a charger with, than without. And then I also got for baby a pacifier. These are the Dr. Brown ones. And then I have a little baby goal um, pacifier clip. Now, um, there's like the silicone ones and stuff, but I like these because I could just like throw them in the wash. But yeah, like I said, charger. Let's see if it'll focus. As you see, it's a pretty long charger, and then I have the wall plug as well. And then, as far as for me, I'm taking a nursing cami that is like compression-like. And as you see, it's nurse friendly, super, super um, nurse friendly. And um, like I said, black, um, super inexpensive. I got it off at of Amazon. I think I paid like $24 for a pack of three. And then I also bought these comfortable pair of pants, like lounge pants. Um, I just want to make sure that I wear everything like loose, you know, for pants. Super cute print. It has pockets as well. Got it off of Amazon. So that's that. And then I also obviously brought a pair of black underwear. And then a nursing bra. 
just in case like I need an extra nursing bra I have it and then um, obviously I'm not gonna be showing you my underwear but I wear high-waisted underwear and then I have really comfortable socks and I rolled them up <coughs> and then as far as toiletries I'm not bringing my makeup bag so uh, <laughs> that's the last thing on my mind whenever um, I give birth. Um, I get a lot of moms like wearing makeup and everything like that. I've tried and I end up like crying it off uh, through labor. So I'd rather not look like a hot mess, even though I am really. Um, but these are like my toiletries as far as like what um, I'm going to use possibly, if that makes sense. Because they usually um, let you take a shower after like the first day, I believe. Um, so right here. I have like shampoo and conditioner and body wash and then I also have a brush a toothbrush and then nursing pads on this side and then a regular menstrual pad here now you're probably wondering well, why aren't you why aren't you packing like um, more menstrual pads and stuff or like um, adult diapers the reason why is because they all include that at your hospital stay now if you you have like a certain allergy or like you have a certain preference which I understand go ahead they they make like the always ones they make like the depend ones they make like the baby Frida ones um, this time around I did get the depend ones and the baby Frida so I got like the postpartum essential kit that's already set in my bathroom if you guys are interested in viewing that um, I will post it soon I will uh, most likely post it up um, after I give birth just because I'm running out of time and I honestly don't have a lot of time since I am a working mom and I'm I'm pretty pregnant but yeah that completes um, obviously that completes my what's in my hospital bag um, obviously I am gonna be taking like my phone and then um, I'm gonna be like taking like my Crocs you know um, but also baby's coming home outfit is going to be this little bunny outfit. So I'm not really worried about, um, like really anything because this is just like the plain old necessities that I will be using, baby will be using, my husband will be using. So, and also in case you're wondering, why did I only pack one pair of boxers for my husband? And the reason why is because the reality is, like, my husband is going to be going in and out of the hospital because, um, number one, he works. Number two, also, we have other kids. So she, he has to check up on the kids as well. Um, my sister's going to be helping me as much as she can, watching over the kids. That's why I want to go in and out of the hospital. Um, like, like, I just want to stay there for a full 24 hours, and that's it. Um, but like I said, um, if he needs a change of clothes, he's literally just going to come home, like, change clothes. He's going to take a shower, probably, most likely, because that's what he has done in the past. But yeah, he's going to be the one that goes in and out of the hospital to, uh, you know, to take care of the family needs, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's the only reason why I'm only packing one pair of boxers, just in case. I don't know. Poop happens. I don't know. But anyways, I know that I'll have my, like, stuff, like, covered, you know, like, they'll supply, like, postpartum stuff and everything like that. So if I get bloody, poopy, and stuff like that, they'll, they'll help me on that. For David, I'm not sure anything could happen. But, like I said, this is my third baby, and this is the minimum things that I believe I'm going to need. I will post a later video to share what I actually used or not used. I'm hoping that I use everything as far as like, except for like the the diaper um, carrier. Um, and then obviously I am gonna be um, taking the car seat. I have to load that in the car and everything like that. But I'm not gonna do that until like literally like I'm in labor, I'll have David install it. Because literally, <laughs> Um, I'm waiting till last minute, but honestly, it's because I have two other kids. So, I mean, I, I have to, like, improvise. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm not gonna put the car seat in the car seat in the car 
just yet because the kids are going to mess around with it. The kids are going to spill like their drinks on it and stuff like that. So right now I'm just keeping it in my office. And yeah, whenever um, David uh, checks on the kids and everything, he'll probably install it in the car. And then whenever we go home, put the car seat in. But yeah, that, whew, I am so pregnant. But yeah, anyways, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Again, this is real. This is reality. This is like not my first time. And if you're in the same boat as me, pregnant, about to give birth and stuff, just know you're doing an awesome job. Just know that like you are a miracle and everything. Like literally never underestimate, underestimate yourself because honestly what you're doing is like literally amazing it's amazing like um there's so many times that we're so hard on ourselves that we have to remind ourselves that like what we're doing is creating a human life and um obviously um whenever you have you know multiples it gets harder of course but I just want to let you know, even if you're like a brand new mom, first time mom, expecting mom and stuff, you're doing a great job. Honestly, I feel like there's such a lack of like empathy when it comes to women um, because we have overcome no matter what, even the most difficult situations. But yeah, anyways, you're doing an amazing job. I hope you guys um, have an amazing labor experience i would love for you to share with that with me like i'm sharing with you i plan on recording my birth um if everything goes all right um because this again this is my third baby and now i'm more comfortable not only speaking on the camera sharing my experience and everything like that and honestly what i'm sharing here is real raw and not filtered honestly because i just don't have time for that i'm not trying to impress anyone i'm just sharing my life just because i want to show other moms that honestly this is like reality and you don't have to be like other moms if that makes sense that you know this isn't mom shaming or anything like that but you don't have to compare yourself to other moms with their like perfect houses and stuff like that because majority of the time their perfect house is not a perfect house and I for many years struggled with that until I accepted it and I loved myself for who I was and I became a genuinely like happier person and that's why also I didn't like go back to social media and everything like that this is my life I am proud of my life I work hard I'm determined I'm a good mom I'm a good wife you know I mess up at times in fact, I probably mess up like once a day or multiple times a day and everything like that. But I love myself. My family loves me. I love my family. You know, this is my life and everything like that. But yeah, this is my reality. And I thought I'd share with you guys um, my experience with baby number three. But yeah, anyways, if you're wondering too why my voice is so raspy, it's because I'm dying from allergies. <sighs> the struggle. But anyways. I appreciate you guys checking my video out. I really do. If you could hit the like and subscribe button, I'd be very, very grateful and excited just because, like, I just want to share my life, if that makes sense. I don't know. But anyways, I will catch you guys next time, hopefully with the baby. But we'll see. Bye, guys.